big arms here. Hello. Oh. Oh. oh, baby. That was close. We won't be able to do that for longer. Good morning everyone, if you have not already, don't forget to hit the subscribe button, ring the little bell, you get notifications of my videos every Tuesday, Friday, and sometimes we do the Sunday video. Today we do something quite special. See, I've got the trailer on. You can see in my normal human clothes, civilian clothes, in from the 885. That's the reason for that, because we can't do something. Um, but we have the segregation gate. What we use this segregation gate for, you're about to find out. And the only thing is this segregation gate doesn't just fit here, which is a little bit annoying. So I'm gonna have to just get some um, string and just make sure it ties up so it doesn't move. I'll just do that. And we'll get some cake, and then we'll get on a bit of a job. So I've got cake, I've tied it up. It's tied up. I've got a stick for an extended arm. Right, let's go find the Highland Bull. This could be exciting. Oh, that was a bit early. Damn it, that was a bit early. They're coming. They're coming. They're gonna beat me there. Shouldn't have whistled so early. Should not have whistled so early. I shouldn't have said that. I should not have said that. The racing me is not good. You have to see a very quick dump and go with tractor anyway. Very quick, rapid, speedy. Slam on, slam brake on. Oh, they slow down, that'll do. <whistles> Civilian clothes, wet farm. Gotta love it. They're coming now. So, Lord has been covering Harriet Mini, I think May as well. He's only been covering three. He's been here for about 10 weeks, nine or 10 weeks, I think. Came here in September. It's like second week in November plus now. So he's been here 10 weeks, a cow's gestation period, not gestation, cycle period of when they come and eat is 21 days. So let's say by minimum, there were 21 days until they had the first heat on seeing Lord, like they were in heat the day before Lord. So they would have had one 21 days, 42 days, 63 days, which is two months. So we would have had three shots at them minimum after that. If they're not in calf with those, then probably not getting calf after that. Highlands are really good getting calf. There's not really a lot of stress on them. They're very chilled. I know the temperature is buggered, but like the amount of grass they've got here, it's like, they like living the dream. You really wean them Highlands off now. I think we'll have to do that when they come in. They're not far from coming in, but the weather's good, so keep them out. Cheers, Des. So what, we'll get rid of him this way, it'd be easier. Put that away. Like this bridge is a very good management tool. Just one in left. Just him here, please. Ha! Whee! Oh, GoPro. That's covered in shit. Go on. <laughs> Tell you what, that wasn't bad, was it? First stage of Getting bullying thing going well. The, the easy bit. The easy bit. Oh, by the way, Des is back. It's one day only. One day only. Des, we'll just grab this and put it here. Yeah. Got something to follow then. So what we're doing there, if you ever move stock, if you ever have to move stock, they're always better going around the corner than going straight up, making a bit of a funnel. Should be all right as well. He can be a bit, oh, so he's a bit of a halter train, but we'll try and just get him in. Yeah. Nah, I turned his head to him. Yeah. Ha! He's gone, he's gone. Try and get a halter on his head. I know it sounds daft, but stop being timid. I know it's easier said than done. Big horns here. I don't know, I got it. 
Definitely not a Highland bull halter size. <laughs> no. Yeah. yeah. I did pretty well. Then. The problem is what we did. Worse. Could be a lot worse. Um, it's good, good having Des back. He's good at the camera as well. Because I saw it the back out here, is that I didn't want. I had no escape route, so that's why I had to go down the side. Always know your escape routes. Obviously, he's half timid, so you can get the halter on there. But I knew every spot I could jump, get out of the way of, and be out of the way, because obviously he's a big bull. So um, yeah, I'll make sure these highlands are just fed with a little bit of cake. Keep them happy. What oh, that Warm, they get too dirty in my civilian clothes. The uh, smallest farmer ever on the farm. He Got his Wellington boots on as well. Helping on a Sunday. There up. Yeah, they're coming, have a bit of food. They're very dubious of me now because I've nicked their man of the hour or man of the month. There you go. Jubilee. Look how nice this colour is. Right. Leave them to it, and then we're going to grab two more things for our trip. Need some weight on it. That's brilliant. What are you laughing at? Just because you need some weight on it and it works, me standing oh. on it. Yeah, so we snapped the breakaway cable this week. I was going to go get a chain, but Desmondo has a spare. Not all the heroes wear capes, some have bald heads. Look at you, my brother in law. <laughs> oh, we have Henry. Henry, Henry, and Moon have a very special relationship, don't you, Henry? Who does Moon belong to? Uncle Tommy's. Uncle Tommy's? Yeah. Yeah. Uncle Tommy's. Uncle Tommy's. You giving her a cuddle? Yeah. Ah. Beautiful wives with me. Yep. One light, two lights. Yes. We got lights, we got a breakaway cable. We just need to add one more thing. Uh oh. Lords in the back. And we're going to do something very special. Oh, Dan, you're right. <laughs> we got the little goat and then we've got the um, the big goat. And these are going for a little bit of a date. That's all right, that's all right, that's all right. I'll pass it, yeah. Are you going to pick them up? Yeah, man. How else are you getting it from here to there? Walk them. Well, yeah, because because your because your dear husband's holds trained them really well. <laughs> I bet you wish you Just hadn't fed yeah. them so much now. <laughs> there you go. That's one. There you go. Nick. Anyone else think this is like the Rocky movie when he's chasing the chicken? Hi, right. The chasing the chicken. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Come on. Goats. <laughs> oh, sorry. Goats are funny because when you grab them. You just stand still. How much do you reckon they weigh? Enough. Do you know what worries me the most about carrying you? I didn't open the side door. Well, there is that. <laughs> I'm thinking, if this throws its head back, Mate, you... them horns are straight in my face. Oh, yeah. <laughs> they always make the funniest sound. <laughs> Photo fully go. Just want to open this door. Yep. <laughs> yep. Yeah. Here we go. We're in. We're in. We got two goats, and then we've got uh, a Highland bull. That's tied, so they can't get to it. They might get covered in poo a little bit, but look, they should be all right. 
the other thing as well, I was like, oh, Joe, do you fancy going out for somewhere to skip to a nice Sunday roast? She was like, oh, yeah, that'd be great. We'll take the dog. I was like, well, well I've got to drop the bull off and I've got uh, a date for the pygmy goat. So, yeah. you know what I mean? Yeah, so there's always a condition. Yeah, we always like to do a bit of work. It's safe doing it tomorrow, doesn't it? Right, I need to take this back and then we're going to head off. So, the reason why we've grabbed the billies I did a little bit of a debate on my Instagram and I said, should we put the pygmy goats to, should we put the pygmy goats to a billy? And obviously to get little uh, kids. I've heard billies are a nightmare. I said, if it's over 75%, I'll do it. And the votes were like 76% said do it on the Instagram. I was like, all right, well, I said I'll do it now. When you say you do something, you've got to do it. However, I'm going to do it in a different way. We're going to drop these off to a billy, because I've heard a billy's a nightmare. You see the pen that we're in, it's not the biggest pen. Next year we're looking at development and making a proper pen, having a lot more people to come round, be able to see a lot more of the animals, but it's after a couple of developments. But that's like my second stage, and my second thing I want to do next, so I want to do something next, then the one after that will be that. So the plan is to take these pygmy goats to the billy itself, because billies can be a nightmare. They wheel on themselves, they stink. They're, they're apparently they're horrible. And so if 24% of you say don't do it, and that's a lot of people saying don't bother. So we're gonna do it, just in a backwards way. I'll show you where we're gonna do it now. Just wanted to make sure that everything was fine. That's tight, which is good. The goats are a little bit scared, but I'm sure they're fine. I think I'd be scared about a big island ball there. But that's tight, which is good. Happy with that. Everything's tight, everything's secure. Well, we're here, and it's now on an half drive to Roberto's. He is away, he's currently watching the mighty Leeds. Obviously near Yorkshire here, isn't it? So I sport Leeds. Oh, Island still out. What did you just say? <laughs> Goats are a little bit covered in poop. Like how much? <laughs> like, like enough. I hope I don't have to grab them wherever they're getting tipped. Oh no. Let's do this. Cut the old way. Oh hey! There we go, right. Right, um, leave the window down and scream <laughs> if you need me. Just scream if you want to go faster. Scream oh. if you need me, I'll come get you. Okay, thank you. What a star. Hurry. Hurry, right. so we'll... Here we go. Come on, come on big lad. There we go. So, he's in. There. The goats are okay, by the way. They're a little bit mucky, but they're okay. Need what? You didn't need me then. I didn't need you then. First tip of the day. Look at these cuties. They're cute, aren't they? They're amazing. What, the ones with the thing? Yeah, yeah. yeah. And that, that yeah, one they're getting up. Yeah, Belties. It's nice. Right. Let's go. Drop some goats off of there. Big thanks to the Lord. Hopefully he's done the job. And we've not really seen much of him. Obviously we had it when the um, he came and him and Nigel nearly met. That was exciting. And then we just dropped him off. He's had no issues. He hasn't really done much, as in to be a problem. So he's kind of just got on with life, just lived with the other highlands and been a great bull, which is perfect. Everything you want. So right, I've just thought, we would just say a nice little goodbye to him? Right, let's go drop some pygmies off. Lot in Nancy. What's the Billy called? Well, it's called Billy. We call called Billy. The girls call him Billy, so we, I've always called him Billy. Billy and our Lot in Nancy have got a bit of a long date going on. They're a bit unsure. They're a bit covered in poo as well because the Highland Bull might have pooed a little bit. But the rain wash him. And the boy. Look how proud he is, eh? Oh, mate, mate friends, mate friends. He's probably thinks he's strangers as well. He says, well, he's a bit strange. Oh, a bit dancing. Yeah, yeah. But he's no tricolours. Oh, look at that. I know. Oh! Oh! <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Yeah, well, right, I'm gone, I'm gone. <laughs> oh. oh, look at that! I told you. <laughs> <Nasty>. <laughs> right, so we'll leave these two here for 
three, four weeks, something like, and then fingers crossed, we'll have some kids. Five months gestation period? Cow farmer. 10th of Cow April. Life. Keeping your diaries. Yeah. So I treated my lovely wife to the Black Bull. It was amazing. It was very good food. Just after we've dropped the two go goats off, Lottie and Nancy, and obviously the Lord. And now we're going to go home. Yeah, uh, <laughs> there we go. Right. We'll see you tomorrow. We'll go another job on. Yep.